Eight crazy days left until the election finally happens. Eight days left to see if the FBI offers any more information about the State Department emails found on that new laptop. This latest twist in the election has guaranteed that Hillary Clinton will be haunted by the ghost of her email scandal through these final days of the election and perhaps, perhaps even beyond. Today, two former attorneys general, one a Democrat, the other a Republican, calling the FBI director's decision to alert Congress of this new investigation with just 11 days left to go until the election, calling it a mistake. Right now, the CNN poll of polls, the average of five national polls, still has Clinton ahead by five. That's a lead, and it's not insignificant. But if Trump can whittle down that margin to under the margin of error, we may truly have no idea what will happen on one week and one day from today. Of course, it's not a national election. It is state by state. So let's begin with CNN political director David Chalian. David, right now in our electoral map, Clinton still seems to have the upper upper hand. Well, she does indeed. If you just look here, we have her over the 270 mark, Jake. She's at 272, the way uh, the states are leaning or solidly in her direction right now. But you were just talking about that email story. And this is where I'm looking for impact. These light blue states here, Wisconsin, Michigan, down to Virginia, all these light blue states, Pennsylvania, Colorado, that is where I am looking to see if there's any damage to Hillary Clinton, because it's those light blue states that are already leaning her way that make up her very strong stance in the Electoral College. Uh, right now, we haven't seen any polling out of those states, Jake, so we don't know yet if she's taking on any water in them. But if we see any damage in those light blue states, that will set off alarm bells in Brooklyn. Interesting. And Donald Trump today is in Michigan, a very blue state. A lot of people are asking, why is he there? Isn't that just a waste of time? Well, here's why he's there. These yellow states in the battlegrounds, if I were to assign every one of them to Donald Trump, Nevada, Utah, Arizona, Florida, North Carolina, Ohio, let's see, these are being tricky there. He still doesn't get there. 264 electoral votes. He has to dig in to some blue leaning territory. That's why you see him in Michigan today, in Wisconsin, in Pennsylvania tomorrow. He needs one of those states to come his way. Now, it's an opportunity cost, though, right? Because if he is campaigning in turf that is not already, uh, that is leaning in Hillary Clinton's direction, Jake. That leaves her to park herself in Florida, as she did this weekend, in Ohio today. She can keep playing in Florida, Ohio, North Carolina to try to flip those true battleground toss-ups while he is trying to dig into territory that isn't favorable to him right now. Fascinating. David Chalian, thank you so much.